Hello, welcome. My name is Prue or Prue Luru, and today I'm going to talk to you about the 10 things I've learned from YouTube. This is a old collab now. <laughs> Sorry, I'm saying this so funny. So about a month ago, Leora and Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner collabed together on a video called 10 Things I Learned on YouTube. So I thought it would be fun to finally sit down with you and chat. <laughs> I'm going to talk a bit more about my channel at the end if you're interested in hearing that but let's just dive into the 10 things I've learned if that's what you're here for because that's what the title of the video is titled. That's why you clicked, isn't it? So <laughs> the first thing I learned is uh, a lot more about my face, my chin, especially my double chin because I don't notice this in my everyday life yet when I get to watch it back in videos, yeah, it's pretty fucking obvious I got a double chin. And it has been difficult for me because uh, I'd say since starting my channel, I've put on weight so I can actually go back to old videos and I can compare myself, which is just like not something that's ever fun to do. I've learned a lot more about my brows and filling them in and what's going on with them. Like on this side, it's a lot more patchy and this side is not. I've learned about all the funny noises I make and that for transitions, I tend to always say, all right. And I say um. I say um a lot. Oh my god. The amount of times I say um is crazy. I don't know. Sometimes I just leave it in because I'm like, I don't know how to get rid of that um. <laughs> but that's probably the first thing I learned. I learned about my face structure, which is like such a weird thing to think about. But before doing YouTube, I never really looked at myself in the mirror that much. I was just chilling, hanging my life. So it's definitely added another layer of self-awareness which has been good and bad yeah it's been interesting let's just say that and I know I see a lot of people who do like their camera up so you don't get the double chin I'm trapped in this position that I have so like if I sit upright this is me sitting very upright in my camera and I just I don't have a way to raise my bloody tripod thing I don't think anyway no, I don't. So I've got to, I would like to find a way to like raise it up a little bit just so I don't have to keep looking at my double chin and that like maybe you don't have to either. The second thing I learned is that Reddit is not always the most productive place to read for advice. And the thing is with Reddit, I, I'm i a huge person who goes on Reddit a lot. I was on Reddit for, a, I've been on Reddit for the last five years of my life. I've read so much. I've weathered the storms at Beauty Guru Chatter. And I've seen people come and go. But I think when you have a beauty channel, it's not the best place to go. And that's because I find that a lot of people go there to criticize creators. And that's not a bad thing. It's just that that's the community for that. Because the people who are commenting there don't really want to go to the creator's video and express their opinion. Because like it'll get deleted, they'll get defensive. And sometimes people are just looking for people to agree with them about something that annoyed them. I've found a few times when I've read like, how I wish my be like the YouTuber, like beauty YouTubers would act and advice stuff. It's left me feeling less motivated to film and more stressed out because I can't start thinking about like why I should have a clean background. I need to have perfect lighting. And at the end of the day, like I'm a micro channel. I don't need those things. I need to just create and have fun here. And reading advice that's not even for you is difficult but at the same time I do find it difficult to get advice from my channel and that's because you guys are such amazing people and are always very supportive which is lovely but sometimes it'd just be nice to know what I need to do to improve like and I know for sure definitely one of the things I need to do to improve is be consistent and you'll be very excited to know I'm gonna start a schedule I'm working really hard on doing that and I've got my eyeshadow primer video comparing 15 eyeshadow primers I've edited it down but I haven't I've got to go back and do the intro and the outro and just figure out how to put it together and I really want to make sure it's really good so that's hopefully gonna be up next week it's taken me so long but we'll talk about that another day but ultimately you've got to find advice from friends people you like and potentially maybe other creators that you really appreciate and value the way that they do their content and maybe you want to emulate that. 
and Reddit is isn't really the place for that. Reddit is a safe place for people who watch YouTube to talk about YouTubers and I hope that they don't want people to read it. <laughs> Some of it's a bit mean. Number three, and this leans onto it, but you're constantly improving. I notice so much now from even just the way I approach my eyeshadow looks to when I began, how much longer it takes, the color placement, the way I blend, and just how much longer I spend perfecting a look. Because now I can see smaller things that I didn't initially see and they're improving. And like even the way that I've managed to be able to do wing liner. I could never do wing liner. I mean, if you've watched my channel, you know, you saw me struggle with the stamp, which really helped. And now I can just like sit down and do some uneven wings. It's amazing to me. Number four is that different things annoy me about watching movies now. <laughs> and that's because I understand a little bit more about the editing process. You know, like when you see people who are standing here, like talking to each other, there's usually like a camera behind here and a camera there so that those cameras can't see each other and you think you're a part of the conversation. And it's kind of ruined the magic of movies for me a little bit. There was one movie that just like, I walked out of it and I've never walked out of a movie. I think it must have been last year I went to go see First Man and I, I couldn't sit through it. <laughs> because they had chosen to film it on film. So the lens flares were driving me insane and that grain, I just, I didn't like it. And I thought it was a movie about the moon. So we'd gone to see it on an IMAX screen and it just like, oh my God, it, yeah. Ultimately what pushed me over, if you have seen the movie, is when they have the, when three people pass away in it and I just, I couldn't handle seeing dramatized death and I didn't think they needed to show that much. And that's when I was like, I'm done. I, I can't, I'm not watching this anymore. <laughs> but I will now watch a movie or watch someone's YouTube video and be like, oh damn, that's a great edit. Like, I love the way that you did that. And you just notice small things that people put into their videos and, and like appreciate it a bit more, which is kind of cool. Number five is it is too easy to justify buying makeup, cameras, things to improve your background. It's so easy to justify buying like new lights. Like, oh, I don't like these lights. I need to make something brighter, something pop. I need something better in the background. I need this latest release. I'm going to get it up and like film a video and it's going to be amazing. And people... <laughs> And it's just so easy to justify buying makeup. And oh, for me, buying makeup is one of my favorite things. And I, I haven't been a mindful consumer. So I need to bring myself back and start just buying the things that I really want. I don't know. I do have a My Palette Collection video coming. So I hope you guys enjoy seeing how much makeup I actually have. Well, eyeshadow palettes. That's not even the rest of it. But it is too easy to justify buying new things to help your channel. Like, oh, if I just had this, it would be easier. If I just had this, it would be easier. No, like, just, you yeah, don't need more things. And this is something I really struggle to tell myself, but I don't. I don't need more things. I just, like, need to create more content. <laughs> really? That's all I need to do is create more content and edit more and schedule uploads. Number six is like leads onto it, but editing is so hard. Oh my God. I've been trying really hard to get my shit together lately because I know I've had a gap in my videos. I went away. I detached from makeup, from Instagram, from YouTube. I came back, I got back into it. And then I had like, I have like three videos I filmed before I went away that I haven't even touched in editing. And like now I'm like watching them and I'm like, Prue, what were you thinking about that blush? And like, it's, it'll come up soon, but it's the Melt Radioactive palette three looks. I don't know, that blush, that blush. <laughs> and I'm just so triggered. But what I have to do to make editing easier for myself is put it in small bits. So when I'm doing a three looks, one palette video, I'll sit down and edit one look, go do something else, come back, edit another look. And then I can kind of get it done. But sitting there for like two or uh, two or three hours editing one video i don't know i'm just i'm really struggling with it at the moment and i need to get into a flow i don't know i need to find like a way to like organize my life make myself more motivated i don't know what i've got to do but i miss you guys and i miss uploading videos so 
this is why we get a chatty video today and i will come back with you to um yeah we're gonna i'm planning a schedule it's happening and number seven like this this all these all kind of like meshing together but you have to do it for passion you absolutely do and that's where for me like my passion has sort of been decreasing lately and it's hard to get the same i don't know it's hard because there's always that selfish aspect of you that like potentially you started a YouTube channel because you wanted PR and like you watch the big YouTubers and you're like, you're the free makeup. I remember ages ago seeing a lot of people being like, well, if you've got opinions about it, why don't you sit down and make beauty videos yourself? But it's so hard to do. And that's why people tell you to do it because then, then you either get bored and realize just how tough it is and how expensive it is and how much effort it all goes into it. And you just, you start appreciating that anyone is able to put anything up on YouTube. It's amazing. Oh my God. It's just so much work. And like, it is hard. Like for me, I mean, I had 500 subscribers. I think like five of you left. So I'm at like four, 496 now. I miss you guys. I don't know who you are. <laughs> You didn't say goodbye on your way out. How am I meant to ask you to come back? I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. But I remember ages ago when I was so excited to reach 100 subscribers and I was feeling so motivated and energized. And now here at 500 subscribers, over a year and a bit later. And it's just hard because I'm not seeing that growth on YouTube because like... Obviously, I'm not, I'm a niche person. Maybe I'm not engaging in the community enough. Maybe I'm not commenting on enough posts. Maybe I'm not commenting on enough YouTube videos. But like, man, if I'm going to create, edit, live my life, and also do all that stuff, like, fuck, I'm screwed. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. But I'm excited to get a bit more into... A routine for a little bit and I'm just gonna try that out and number eight what works for someone else doesn't always work for you and this is so often I will watch a video or watch and use a product I'm like oh my god they made it look amazing I need it I must have it but it might not work for you and I mean like potentially maybe one of the things that I bought was the sugar pill fun size color palette I bought it I didn't I originally wasn't gonna buy it and then I saw a next video with it and I was like yeah I'm gonna buy it it's amazing but now I have it in my hands and I'm like, where are the shimmers? What am I meant to do with you? I'm so overwhelmed. Just going to ignore it. Pretend it's not there. I don't know. I love the colors in it. I will get around to using it. I just don't know how because I, I just really love shimmers. I don't want like an all matte colorful look all the time. And I have enough palettes that are complementary color stories. It's so hard and it's so much easier when you can actually swatch the makeup in store, see it in person, and then you can like walk away from it if you need to or fall in love with it. But when you're buying stuff online and you watch someone and you're like, oh my God, that's amazing. You've really got to spend a few more minutes analyzing if it's for you. And that's something I'm going to try and get better at. I don't know if I will because I'm um, I like buying makeup, really. Number nine, the friends you will make is just amazing. I love you guys. You're amazing. Um, I love the creators that I talk to, like the friends I've made on this channel. Opening yourself up to a community like this, it, there is no other experience that exists. And even as a micro channel, I feel the love and I, I love you guys. You're amazing. I love reading your comments. I love responding to them. And it's so nice getting to know other people who love makeup as well. It just makes, it adds so much value to your life when you're a bit makeup obsessed. Cause I feel like some of us are just like hanging around in our rooms with our makeup goblins, playing with makeup. And it's nice to talk about people who are as obsessed as you are. Number 10, oh, I already talked about this, but keeping up with the community is important. Knowing the trends, knowing what's going on. I don't know, I can't even do it. So I can't like, what am I gonna say about this? I don't know, ultimately, <laughs> I'm just kind of falling out. YouTube is hard. The setup is hard. Knowing what to buy is hard. Knowing, you know, and staying within your budget, staying within your means is hard because it's so easy to be like, oh, maybe one day I'll have that life from YouTube. Maybe one day I'll make money from this. And I was like, no, you won't. So you, you should be reasonable in your approach for stuff. 
really you shouldn't put yourself out like you know no and look this is one thing if you're looking at creating videos just sit down and start doing it you don't need the fancy camera you do not need the canon 80d that i'm currently filming on get like some cheap little thing if you really want a camera get a really cheap ring light if you really want the ring light or just sit in front of the damn window and you have the best light there and just start start editing there's so many free programs out there and this is the big thing that i wish i could hammer into myself more is that i don't need more things because i love buying things and i've been wondering if like i have a shopping addiction i don't know i watch like georgia harris's stuff sometimes and like she just put up that video today should be yesterday for you about her mental health and shopping addiction and it does make me wonder like do i have a shopping addiction and i mean i think to a certain degree yeah i probably do because what happened for me is that i quit smoking suddenly had more money in my pocket and was like oh shit i'm not used to not seeing my like i'm not used to not seeing my pay like just disappear from cigarettes and if you're not in australia like cigarettes are so expensive here they're crazy like when we were in bali they were two dollars a packet here they're like thirty dollars for a packet and that's when i got into makeup and i guess i haven't really segued out of that yet but that's because it's become such a big hobby for me i do love this so i don't know feel free to judge me when my palette collection video goes up I feel like I did actually talk about everything I meant to talk about about my updating for my channel but ultimately I'm going to try and set a schedule I've set a schedule I just have to keep it but we're gonna have some regular videos coming up I'm gonna try and start them off with the eyeshadow primer video next Monday and then just see how I go and having consistent content going up and starting from there because it'll be fun. And I really need to use more of my collection. It's it's getting ridiculous. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed hearing me talk about these things that I've learned about YouTube. And I hope you stick around. Uh, I hope there's like five people come back. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you choose to do. Maybe you unsubscribe from this video. I don't know. Like, that's up to you. It's your business. Just know I'll miss you. And uh, if you stick around or you just decide to subscribe, like... I love you and like even if you unsubscribe I still love you like you love you liked me for a short period of time and I really valued our time together thank you I, I hope that was all okay I don't know I yeah just know I love you whether or not you're subbed or unsubbed you're amazing you are absolutely wonderful and thank you so much for watching this video and thanks so much to Annette and Laura for making a pretty fun little collab video to do. If you haven't done this yet and you have a channel, put it down below. Or if you have something funny you've learned from YouTube that you just want to like, you've only got one thing, share it down below as well. I'd love to know. Anyway, let me sign off. I'm going to stop talking now. You're amazing and I appreciate and adore you. Thanks for stopping by. Mwah.